My name is Sarah and I am the Regional Manager from Nelson Marlborough Institute of Technology. Today I am here to have a chat to you about what it's like to live in New Zealand and the study opportunities you have with Nelson Marlborough Institute of Technology. So first off today I just wanted to take a look at New Zealand. So we are a small country with only 4.5 million people living here. However, we're very multicultural with a great acceptance of our international students. We're one of the safest countries in the world and the safest English-speaking study destination. In recent times during the global COVID-19 pandemic, New Zealand has received international praise for acting quickly and eliminating COVID-19 from our communities. Coming to New Zealand, you will be studying in a country that is known as being number one for preparing students for the future. So a great place to come and further your education. If you do study with Nelson Marlborough Institute of Technology, you'll be lucky enough to live in one of the most desirable places in New Zealand. So we're a really diverse city um, with one in five people actually being born in another country. And that's the third highest of any city in New Zealand. We've got a really strong economy driven by our primary productions. We're highly connected to the rest of the country and we've got lower than average crime and unemployment levels. So again, a really safe place to live. Here you'll see some pictures of our region. The main one there is an aerial shot um, of our city. So the, the main campus is located right there in that cluster of buildings. To the left hand side are some regional images and down the bottom there is a local market that happens every Saturday. A really great place to go um, and buy local produce and arts and crafts. Studying with NMIT means that you'll be studying at a government owned Category 1 institute. So that means we've got the highest ranking of any institute in New Zealand. Um, means that your qualifications will be recognised not just here in New Zealand but also internationally. We've got over a hundred years history of teaching students and our qualifications are designed to meet regional, national and international workforce needs. We've got modern facilities with the latest technologies. Our student population is 5,000 with 1,000 of those being international learners. A really diverse mix of students so you get to learn from different cultures and different perspectives. You'll get personal attention from your teaching staff as well um, and you get a one-on-one -on -one relationship with your professors due to that uh, small class size. So here are some um, images of the campus for you to familiarise yourself with. Um, we do have some really nice buildings. Our library learning centre there is a fantastic building. Um, it's got great spaces for individual quiet study, group study and also a full library so that you can access all the resources you need for your studies. We do have two campuses. Our main campus is located in Nelson. Those were the images I showed you. Now this is located right in the heart of the city, just one block away from our main street. As I mentioned before, we've got an active student population, 5,000 students with a diverse mix of those international students as well, so learning from different backgrounds. We do have a secondary campus, which is our Marlborough campus, located in the town of Blenheim. It's about an hour and a half drive away from Nelson. The main um, programs offered on this campus are relating to viticulture and winemaking. We do also have our business qualifications, but they are very small class sizes. So if you do study at NMIT, we've got a range of different programs available to you. So depending on what you're interested in, I'm sure we'll be able to cater to what you want to study and your future career. Today, I just wanted to look at a couple of our, our key programs. So first off is our highest level program, which is the Master of Applied Management. Now this qualification is open to all bachelor degree holders and is quite short in duration at only 15 months in length. Now if you don't want to study for that long you could opt to study the postgraduate diploma in applied management. That is just the first 10 months of the master's program. Now on either of these programs you can opt to complete a major. You'll see the five majors listed there. Um, these will allow you to ha add a specific area of interest to your qualification. 
a more tailored qualification. You can, however, complete just the, the open Master of Applied Management um, or Postgraduate in Applied Management without the major. That is up to you and we can talk you through the best option for you. We do have more postgraduate diplomas on offer. So you'll see the applied management, which we've just talked about, but there is also logistics and supply chain management, which is a really growing industry and also sustainable aquaculture. So that is also about, that is all about the sustainable production of things like salmon and various shellfish. So it's a huge industry here in New Zealand and across the globe. Of our graduates here in Nelson, 100% of them have gone into employment within the industry. So great graduate outcomes. Now you'll see for those first two qualifications, there are various intakes through the year. For the sustainable agriculture, there is only two intakes just because it's a more specialized um, intake with a smaller cohort of students. Now, if you um, are wanting to perhaps change your career a little bit more, so rather than going from perhaps a, a business degree into something like logistics or science into aquaculture, you may wish to go from something like business into IT or, or nursing into marketing. Now, these graduate diplomas are a fantastic chance for you to do that. So they're only one year in length and they're at level seven, which is the same level as our year three of a bachelor degree, so final year of study. You've got things like marketing, management, accounting, professional accounting, which is to go on to be a chartered accountant, or information technology, IT. Now we do have a really exciting offer out for our students this year. So as I'm sure you're aware, our country's borders are closed at the moment due to the global pandemic. We are hopeful that they will open in the near future. However, in the meantime, we'd like to give students the opportunity to study online. You might be able to start the first part of your qualification online, then commence study in New Zealand once the borders are open, or complete the whole qualification online. And we do have some scholarship available for students who go down this path. So if you're interested, um, talk to the team today and we'll see um, if this is going to be the right fit for you. Now for anybody here who doesn't already hold a bachelor's degree and is interested in studying a bachelor's degree, NMIT have got a huge range of qualifications at this level. So we've got your, your business qualifications, so you can do a Bachelor of Commerce in Accounting, Management or Marketing, we've got the IT qualifications, we've got things in the creative industry, sports and recreation, social work, counselling, nursing, and also specialised qualifications in aquaculture and marine conservation. So that one there is a mix between marine biology and aquaculture, that uh, fish production or shellfish production. Viticulture and winemaking, so the study of growing and producing wine. Um, those two are quite uh, uh, specialised programmes and have fantastic graduate outcomes for our students here in New Zealand. Oh. Students studying on the bachelor's degree will also have the opportunity to gain a scholarship if they are studying studying with NMIT before December 2021. Following this date, um, we may have other scholarships, so just make sure you inquire. Now, if you're not interested in studying at the higher level, we do have a range of certificates and diplomas. Depending on your interests, if you're wanting to go into that kind of hospitality or tourism industry, uh, we do have programs there or in your engineering as well, civil and aviation. Now, once you have made the decision to come study with NMIT, you'll be given a really thorough orientation um, and support during your time. Um, You'll also be introduced to our student association that run a fantastic activities program through the year. Kiwi Adventure there, that is a fantastic program that runs through the year. Um, students get taken out on day trips or potentially weekend trips to do things like go to the Abel Tasman National Park, uh, uh, visit local beaches, perhaps go kayaking or rafting. A huge range of different things, a great chance to meet other international students as well. Now, once you have decided to come to NMIT, you will, of course, need to find accommodation. So Nikau Apartments is located on campus. Uh, um, otherwise, you could go into a homestay with a, a local family.
You could also rent your own private accommodation. However, this is much easier to arrange once you are here in Nelson. So perhaps go for Nikau or Homestay to start with. So I hope you've enjoyed today's talk. If you do have any questions, please talk to the team here with you today um, or reach out to NMIT through our website. I look forward to welcoming you to New Zealand and NMIT in the future. Thank you.